Part 4. Maui's Challenge and Unlikely Friendship The hidden island was unlike anything Moana had ever seen. Covered in lush greenery, towering cliffs rose to greet her as she stepped ashore. The air was mysterious, and the island seemed to hum with ancient magic. Moana's heart pounded excitedly as she ventured deeper into the island's interior, her pendant glowing with a soft, guiding light. She knew that Maui was here somewhere and determined to find him. As she ventured further, Moana encountered a series of puzzling obstacles. Trees with roots that twisted and turned like serpents blocked her path, and vines seemed to reach out to trap her. But with each challenge, Moana's determination and resourcefulness grew. At last, she reached the island's heart, a tranquil oasis surrounded by towering waterfalls and exotic flowers. And there, she found him, Maui, the legendary demigod. Maui was a larger-than-life figure, with muscles that rippled like the waves and a mischievous twinkle in his eye. He regarded Moana with a mix of curiosity and amusement. You're a long way from home, kid, Maui said with a smirk, crossing his tattooed arms. Moana knew that winning Maui's help wouldn't be easy. The demigod was known for his cunning tricks and reluctance to assist others. But she was undeterred. She shared her island's plight, the spreading darkness, and the importance of restoring the heart of Te Fiti. Maui's expression shifted, and a hint of vulnerability showed in his eyes for the first time. He revealed his motivation, a desire to be accepted and loved by humans. He had stolen the heart of Te Fiti in an attempt to gain their admiration, but it had only brought destruction. Moana's empathy touched Maui's heart, and he agreed to help her retrieve the heart of Te Fiti from the realm of monsters. But it wouldn't be easy. Tamatoa, a giant, treasure-hoarding crab with a penchant for shiny objects, guarded the heart. As Moana and Maui ventured into Tamatoa's lair, they were met with a glittering spectacle of gold and jewels. The crab's enormous shell towered above them, and his eyes gleamed with greed. Tamatoa's presence was imposing, but Moana had a plan. While Maui distracted Tamatoa with his shape-shifting antics, Moana used her quick thinking and resourcefulness to retrieve the heart of Te Fiti. The pendant around her neck glowed with an inner light, guiding her to the heart's hiding place beneath Tamatoa's massive shell. Moana and Maui dared escape from Tamatoa's lair with the heart in hand, outwitting the greedy crab and leaving him fuming. As they emerged into the daylight, victorious and relieved, Moana couldn't help but feel a sense of accomplishment. But their journey was far from over. They still had to return the heart to Te Fiti and face the darkness threatening to consume Moana's island. As they sailed back toward Moana's home, a newfound friendship blossomed between Moana and Maui. Despite their differences, they shared a common goal, protecting the world they loved. Together, they would face the greatest challenge of their lives and prove that even the most unlikely heroes could make a difference. The adventure of Moana had taken her from her tranquil village to the depths of the ocean through storms and hidden islands and into the heart of darkness. But with her courage, determination, and the unbreakable bond she had formed with Maui, she was ready to face whatever lay ahead and save her island and her people. Stay tuned for the next thrilling chapter in the adventures of Moana as she and Maui journey to Te Fiti to restore the heart and confront the darkness that threatens to engulf her world. Please subscribe for going forward, and your subscription is my inspiration. If you are not a kid, please don't dislike.